guys, welcome to part two of this tutorial. Hopefully the last. Uh, we are up to the member.php section. We just got off with um, creating the session for the user, and um, uh, this one also have admin if you want it. So there is one thing you can do. This is sort of actually a private login kind of thing. I was aiming for. So to do this, we could just say have you know. Hypothetically speaking, if a person wanted admin, you could just check to see if you know the username equals an exact match. So we'll say admin. If it does, then set this session on. Right. Okay. So let's go ahead now and create another page. This one will be uh, member .php. And right here, we're just gonna check to see. Say uh, user equals session username and pass pass. Well, sorry guys, I'm like really out of it. Uh, admin equals session admin. Okay, so basically on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if it's set um, user, and if it's not. We're gonna send them back to the inmates.php. Uh, okay. Also, if you already have like a website going, this will probably end up being login PHP for um for some. But yeah, we'll just say login PHP for some people. Okay. Also. Uh, now that we have that, we're gonna check to see if the admin uh, is greater or equal. Oh, sorry, if admin equals one, then you know we'll just say echo welcome admin. Else, uh, we'll say it doesn't have to be admin. Sorry, we'll say welcome user. Else, we'll just say uh, welcome user to the member page. Alright, and we'll put a break and we'll say echo href equals logout.php. So we'll say logout. Or just, yeah, let's just say logout. Okay, and currently I do not have admin set, I think. Oh, I do. Okay, so let's create logout.php. Alright, so we're creating a file. This one we don't really need to check to see if the user is logged in. I'm gonna automatically just end any session. So session start, session destroy, and then we're gonna send the user to a different page. And in this case, it'll be index.php. Index.php. Sorry. So um, we are admin. So we don't have to put an else here. Uh, basically, we don't have to put this here. Basically, just putting if uh, we'll just say admin exists. All right. So we can refresh and it says welcome admin to the member page, and then we go to log out and then we get sent back here. So we'll try another one. Timmy, I think it's OMG. Welcome Timmy. Uh, member page, and right here we have that error I was telling you guys about. Uh, so to get rid of that, I'm gonna go back to my index and copy this. All right. So it says welcome to me to the member page, and then uh, we'll say uh, echo break. Uh, we'll say long say echo. This is member content. One thing I also just remembered. Uh, actually, no, we're good. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think that wraps it up. Uh, to say this is member content. Uh, what we can do here, let's see, we can say um, <coughs> echo. This is admin content. And okay, so we don't get that admin content because it's not set to that so if we do log in as of now you will see that we have admin content this is regular user content and all that good stuff okay oops so we log out and it's basically
basically it. Alright, so that wraps this tutorial up. If you guys check the description below, you guys will see the source. Um, so yeah, please thumb up the video, thumbs up the video, and uh, comment. So thanks, later.